Arrays are a collection of data having the same data type. They are ordered information that can be manipulated and sorted. Let's look at some of the simple functions in arrays used in manipulation. Open a new Flash project of type ActionScript 3.0. All the manipulations that are described in this tutorial are valid for ActionScript 3.0 only. Open the Actions window to write the code. First is the declaration and initialization of an array. There are two ways to do that. Arrays can be traced, so add a trace function to trace the elements in an array. When the movie is tested by pressing Control enter the output window reads the elements present in the array. Index of an array starts with zero, and individual elements of an array can be accessed using the index number. Let's look at some of the basic manipulations available. Individual elements of an array can be traced by mentioning the index number. They can be added to the array as well. The easiest way is to type the array name followed by square braces that include the index number for the element to be added. This way the value will be added to the specified index. Let's consider the array myArray1. It contains three elements till index number two. So if we add an element at index six, it creates empty slots for the other indices. When an element is added into an existing index number, the existing value is overwritten by the new value. Hence, this is not the preferred way of programming. To add elements at the end of the array list, push function is preferred. To remove elements from an array, the splice is the function used. It takes the two parameters, the starting index and the number of elements to be deleted. If the number of elements is not specified, it deletes all the elements of the index from the starting index. Thus, when myArray1 is spliced from index1 till the next two objects, sample2 and sample3 are the elements removed from the array. The pop function is another function available to delete the last element of the array. These are some functions used to add and delete elements from an array. There is a property that determines the length of the array. Reverse is a function that reverses the occurrence of the elements. The change made by the function is permanent. The elements of their index number are changed as well. Thus, in myArray2, the length of the array is 2, and when the elements of the array are traced, the output reads example2 and example1 as the elements are reversed.